know, part of what's so great about the Smarter, Better, Faster book is this whole sector on tranquility nootropics. That's 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 what I call them. And these are the kind of nootropics that I'm, I'm getting more into these days that are kind of like, uh, I wouldn't say taking the place of some of the other nootropics in terms of like what my favorite nootropics are, but they're they're getting there because they work on GABA receptors, they work on serotonin, they work on calming down the nervous system, they might work on uh, lowering resting cortisol in the case of ashwagandha. But we, we, we've got an entire section dedicated to tranquility nootropics. We talk about phenobut, we talk about valerian root, we talk about all those other nootropic compounds that work on GABA A and GABA B receptors and how they, uh, you know, how they modulate stress and how they can put you in a better place after, you know, perhaps a, a stints of, of not feeling like yourself or not being in the right mood or not uh, having control over your anxiety. That's that's one of the many reasons why the Smarter, Better, Faster book is 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 valuable. We tried to pack as much value as we could in you know depending on what device you're reading it you know 300 pages. Uh, 120 to 300 pages. Like if you're reading it on a on a laptop in a PDF, it's less pages based on how it's formatted. But if you're reading it on an iPhone or an iPad, it's two to 300 pages. It's a lot of solid information, and the tranquility nootropic sector is incredibly valuable. Secure a copy of the Smarter Better Fashion Book at LiveCortex.com. Use the coupon code five and get five bucks off. Just like the Cortex stack, we're running a special on the Cortex stack, which somebody recently said to me, hey, you talk about uridine and CDP coin together in this stack. You know how this is a very powerful combination and that's what makes the Cortex stack like a natural version of modafinil, which by the way, we're running a special on two where you can use the coupon code five. By the way, if you're really feeling epic, get a copy of the Smarter Better Faster book get a bottle of Cortex and use the coupon code five for both of them, you'll save 10 bucks total. But also there's a combination of artichoke extract and Bacopa Monnieri in here. And we found in the formulation process of Cortex that artichoke extract in small quantities facilitates a faster onset of the CDP coin and the uridine monophosphate, probably because of artichoke extract's ability to have the uh, gallbladder and liver release bile, so you digest it faster, at least that's the theory. But there's also some PDE4 inhibition happening with the artichoke extract as determined by the Siltep guys, which popularized the artichoke extract for skull and stack, so th that might have something to do with the effects too. Bacopa monnieri, which is the other ingredient in Cortex besides the powerful uridine and CDP, is an ages old tried and true nootropic compound uh, and that works also on neurite outgrowth axons and dendrites like uridine does. It's a true nootropic. Not that everything else in the stack isn't, but, but, but Bacopa is like one of those, you ask anybody who's been a nootropic for 10 years, like they're gonna always come back to something like Bacopa Monnieri. Okay, five bucks off Cortex, five bucks off a Smarter Better Faster using the coupon code five, livecortex.com. Let's talk about transcranial direct current stimulation. Right, this falls into the category of brain performance enhancement, and we, we just sort of, you know, we talk a lot about nootropics, but this channel and, and moving forward, we're, we're going to start infusing more stuff about performance enhancement. It just fits the content. And is this thing basically where you've got a small machine, small little piece of technology, inexpensive piece of technology that delivers milliamps of electricity to, to particular regions of the brain. You know, and the goal is to stimulate electricity within the brain. You know, the goal is to maybe induce particular mood states. The goal might be to induce particular brain functionality. And quite frankly, there is a lot of <clears throat> credence to it and it works. So three or four years ago, I got a small little transcranial direct current stimulation device, which basically is like the small controller that has a knob that changes it from like 0.5 milliamps to two milliamps of electricity and then attached to that thing is a few wires uh, an anode and a cathode like a red and a black wire that uh that, that that then attach to these small little square things that have sponges on them you dampen the sponges a little bit uh, you put the, the two uh, square sponges that have the anode and the cathode uh, you know, in certain regions of your brain, certain places on your head, and then you take like a, a headband or something and secure them on your head via the headband as shown in the, you know, in the, in the picture here. The, the idea is there's all these things called montages, montages, and montages explain 
uh, placements, the montage is basically just another word for placements. Placements where you could put the little square sponge things on your head that are supposed to do certain things. There's placements for like depression, there's placements for happiness, there's placements for all these different things. One of them you can place on your head in like a, a particular region of the brain and then the other on your left shoulder or something and that's supposed to stimulate the nerves and then facilitate the electrical activity to induce a particular brain state. That's transcranial direct current stimulation. It's very new, it's very amateur as far as like development. There's a couple companies that have tried to launch products that do it. I think one of them is called Think or Focus or something to that effect. Uh, and But I think the whole scenario has, and it certainly has merit, it worked for me, I'm gonna get to that in a second, but it has a future. I think as we continue to develop things that work on the brain, especially this, the technology will get better. It's actually one of the things I'm really interested in. You know, frankly, before you know, we built the Cortex stack and before I was like gung-ho about nootropics, I actually wanted to build a physical machine that did something similar to transcranial direct current simulation, and I still do. All right, so it's something that I might do. Let's get to the effects. For me, I found a particular montage of placing them, and it is, man, if my memory serves me correctly, it's on the left, kind of the left side of the prefrontal cortex, and then one kind of like right in the, the to the right of the corpus callosum, um, you know, or maybe it's a little, a little, it's, it's basically where my left hand is here, and then where my right hand is here. I forget whether it's anode or cathode, um, uh, placements, but, but by the time I do this video, I will I'll make sure that I remember, and I'll 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 give you like a little graphic of it, or, or make sure that you understand it. But in that particular placement for me, I was basically able to induce the the this the the feeling of of a clear brain like I meditated. You know, I remember doing this several times. Like I was able to actually make it so that, you know, I put the transcranial direct current stimulation on my brain. You're only supposed to keep it on for one to three minutes and keep it at a low milliamp measurement. And I did it and every time I was able to replicate the same state, which is my brain got clear, right? I didn't I didn't feel like like neurons were having a hard time firing and stuff it was a little sludgy where it might have been prior to that. And it worked. You know, I don't think it was placebo. Like I'm, 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 I've been in the game long enough to know. You know, I think people, placebo is very overrated, and people give it way too much attention. You know, they'll throw down like oxyuracetam and aniracetam and a choline source. Those things will start making changes on neurochemistry, and they'll be like, and they'll notice it, and they'll be like, is this placebo? No, dude, stop doubting yourself. It's not fucking placebo. Okay, you're feeling the benefits of the nootropic, and so there was no question that I was like a lot clearer. My brain was working better looking at the logic. I just changed the electrical activity of my brain. I felt it pulsing in my brain while the thing was on my head. You know, it's, it's, it's very, very clear and it was very, very exciting. But my transcranial direct current simulation device broke, so I don't have it anymore. So I'm gonna get a new one, you know, soon. But suffice it to say, it, what we, what we explained in the beginning is, is, is the science behind it. It sends milliamps of electricity through the brain. The brain's got electricity happening all the time, so it's not far-fetched to think it can alter it. Right, it's got different placements or montages which are supposed to induce different states. And my own anecdotal experience from it is it absolutely worked. It put me in a place where I felt like I meditated, my brain was clear, it was fluid and working awesomely. So transcranial direct current stimulation is definitely something I'm looking into. I have researched and studied in the past, but now since my thing broke, it's been probably like a year since I fussed with it, but now I'm gonna get another device, bring it back and do some more videos on it. But you know, suffice it to say in summation for the eighth time, if you're thinking about trying it, absolutely do it. Just be careful. Don't keep the, the, the anode and the cathode sponges on your brain for more than three minutes and do it at a low milliamp, perhaps a 0.5 or one milliamp uh, measurement. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, Ryan here, thanks for watching. But if you wanna take your brain game to the next level, you wanna increase your focus, your verbal fluency, your mental energy, your ability to sit down and crank out work for hours at a time, secure a bottle of the Cortex Nootropic stack. Our customers are clear, this is the best pre-made stack on the planet. And hey, speaking of stacks, if you really want to take your nootropic stack game to the next level, secure the Smarter, Better, Faster book. This is a surgical guide to using nootropics for total mental dominance. You talk about stacks, we got stacks in there. 
endless amounts of stacks, power stacks, verbal fluency stacks, working memory stacks. We've got modafinil strategies and everything else you can think of to include a whole sector on nootropics questions answered. Smarter, better, faster. The most powerful nootropics guide on the planet. LiveCortex.com. That's LiveCortex.com. We'll see you over there.